Um, what else do we have here? Oh, big VA news. Are you ready for this one? All right, here we go. The VA is coming out with a real placebo this summer. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, I'll let you chew on that one for a while. And maybe a break, a, you might break a mower or something. But anyway, um, you guys ever see that movie Wally? Wally. Uh, yeah. A Pixar. A Pixar movie uh, with Disney or something. I don't know. About that little alien uh, robot thing left on a planet to clean it up. What a mess. Huh? Dude. And anyway, so Wally, we got these fat people floating around, floating around on these floating chairs, and they got this little old gadget. They push a button on the armchair there, the armrest thing, there, and push all these buttons, and they get their soda delivered to them by flying little things, and their food, everything. That's where we're heading, I think, and it's sad, but oh, I'm telling you generation now I'm telling you they want everything they want it now and they don't want to miss out on anything the one that really pissed me off is these 22 year old mothers with three kids that drag their kids half naked when it's 28 degrees out in the target or oh, they drag them into their you know they drag them into you know a Denny's or a restaurant and they're crying and crapping all over the place and I'm not saying they don't have the right to be there but you know it just can't you feed your kids at home once in a while? I mean, what what's with this? These kids nowadays, man, I'm telling you. I think the I think the first year or two, me and the wife were married. I want to say, before even kids, I want to say we we were lucky if we went out once or twice a year, if that, to any kind of dinner. I mean, you know, these kids nowadays. I mean, why do they even have kitchens for these young gals? Come on, give me a break. Anyway, enough of that stuff. Anyway, we're going to be ready for it to wind up here, and we're going to be uh, playing another song here for you guys. And uh, let's see. Well, I did that. Okay. Hey, I'm moving right along now. I'm moving right along. Oh, we're moving on up to the east side, to the deluxe apartment in the sky. Oh, that's 12 days of Christmas, I was going to say. Yep, 12 days of Christmas. Are you, see the thing is, we might be ready for the 12 days of Christmas. We as a whole, people, get ready, it's crazy, but try to get ready for these 12 days of Christmas. But the, the, the question really is, is your wallet ready for 12 days of Christmas? And I'm looking at mine and I'm saying, hell no, there's no way. Well, well the wife took a credit card out the other day, I mean, I mean she brought it home, it was, it was smoking. I kid you not. I can always tell when the wife is shopping too much. She comes in the house and I smell burnt plastic right away. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's a dead giveaway. Yeah. Anyway, she'd be better off writing a check. Well, that probably bounce anyway. But I mean, better off writing a check. But because at least I can't tell right away. I'm gonna have my story for you guys. <laughs> oh yeah, they're coming to take me away. Ha ha ho. Ay, 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 not again. Anyways, I just sprang right out of bed this morning. I felt really good. This is how it felt for me when I sprang out of bed. Yeah, I sprang out of bed there because don't you know, me and my wife now got a fancy bed now. Goes up and down and vibrates, you know. Yeah, it goes up and down and vibrates too, you know. Yeah, and it's not even a sexual bed. Uh, anyway, yeah. So anywho, she goes up, I go down, you know, and stuff. I try to catch up with her sometimes. We have races to see who can elevate to the top uh, the fastest. Uh, and then we have, uh, and then we have races to see who can get out of bed the fastest. Because once those things are set a certain way, man, I'm telling you, you damn near a little, little step ladder to get the hell out of them. Anyways, they're fun and it feels good on our backs and we're getting older and it feels good to have good things. Uh, next, we're working on our double seater vibrating heat and vibra vibrating with heat um, uh, double seater stair, stair masters yeah well, that'll be next 
Well, it's going to set us back about 20 grand, but it's going to be worth it. Uh, heating pad type clothing. Well, I mean, you know, that'd be cool. I got all my sauces and creams and rubs on this morning. Um, yeah. The back, the shoulder, the, all that stuff. The wrist, I even, I even put on my, uh, on my ear, um, uh, what else? My ear brace that I got from the VA. Yeah, they gave me an ear brace. Uh, I'm not quite certain how it works, but... Yes, we do have a dysfunctional family, by the way. We do. Thank you. People are asking, uh, Captain, what's your family like? I said, hell, I don't know. I just went over. Uh, dysfunctional. And they're going to say, how dysfunctional are they? And I'll, uh, I'll tell you how dysfunctional the family is. Are you ready? Half the family's been on the Jerry Springer show. <laughs> that much I know. Oh, that coffee's so good in the morning, is it not? What would this planet do without coffee in the morning? I'm telling you, I think it'd be in a mess. Uh, a rotten mess. Anyway, um, we're going to go on here, and I tell you, we're going to play a little bit more of Let's See Now. Okay. All right, what was hang on? Okay, here we go. Well, well, first I better check out the number of this, you dummy. Okay, here we go. We're going to be listening to Bunga. Um, Frosty the Beer Man? No, Frosty the Beer Mug. That's what we're going to be listening to. Frosty the Beer Mug. Okay. You heard it here first on the Captain... Boom it all. Okay. Here we go, guys. Frost to the beer mug. got it right there oh yeah and I think they like that one that's for sure thank you guys what more oh thank you thank you you know that uh, that is a novelty CD it's just a novelty thing put together but whoever did this did I think they did a pretty pretty good job on it myself because the guy actually can sing somewhat, and uh, the band, the uh, musicians aren't bad either. And, and it's done pretty well, I think. So <laughs> I'll be playing some more here. Uh, it's too bad. He's, he, there's only ten songs on his CD, so, and I played two already, and that's pretty much what I'm going to be playing. But uh, for now, but we're going to go on, as we get in more into the season here. Uh, yeah, we're going to be playing some more of 
uh, Bubba, Claw, uh, Bubba Claw's Country Christmas Album. And uh, I personally know a few people that look like this Bubba guy. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's put it this way. You wouldn't want the... You wouldn't even want this Bubba's I know to even walk your dog, I'm telling you. Anyway. Okay, how to offend darn near everyone. Well, we can do this. Okay, what do you call an Arkansas farmer with a sheep under each arm? That guy, he is known as a pimp. <laughs> what would you call it when an Italian has one arm shorter than the other? A speech impediment. Why is there no Disneyland in China? No one's tall enough to go on a good ride. Speaking of rides, I got so much of the stuff written down. But it's true. These rides these kids got nowadays, I'm telling you, we in the Lubbock Twin Cities area, where, you know, where I grew up. And where is this coming from, the Twin Cities area? And anyways, uh... <laughs> um, the only, the only, uh, the ride that we had back then, it was only one place to go to, and it was called the, uh, the Lovett Excelsior Park, Excelsior Amusement Park, on the beautiful shores of Lake Minnetonka. And you go out there, and uh, I think they had one roller coaster, maybe a tilt a whirl, uh, yeah, maybe a train, a little train for the kiddies, but. But uh, the point I'm trying to make is these rides nowadays, they are so immense and huge. Our, <laughs> our their stairs to get up to these rides they have nowadays were as taller than our tallest rides were back then. Think about it. Unbelievable. I mean, I look at it this way. If you've got a stair up at the top of a ride, and you end up with a crink in your neck, and that ride's too damn tall for me, baby. Ain't no way. No, no way. And then not to mention, when you go about 90 miles a mile down the team you, you better have your dentures in really tight. Those babies will blow out, I'm telling you. A lot of G's going down there, and that, that wild thing, wild thing. Oh, baby. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Anyway, okay, uh, what, okay, I just wanted to do in closing, because I just want to tell you what I think Christmas is kind of, a, one of the best things I love about Christmas, and I always do, especially since, uh, you know, this, it does, doesn't it kind of creep up on us guys? It does, you know, I mean, you get married, you graduate from high school, you get married, maybe some of us, you know, we went to service, and stuff like that, but... Uh, what I'm getting at is it's just all of a sudden, man, I'm turning around and man, I got I got grandkids in their teens and you know, it is it, it, it is short. It really is this thing called life for us. That's why uh anyways, I was gonna talk about my three sons. Uh that'll be for another show. Uh and not the and not the my three sons that were on in the sixties and seventies. Not those three sons with, uh, what the hell was his name? Fred McMurray. Uh, that guy. No, my three sons are totally different than the three sons, my three sons that uh, Fred had. Oh, yeah, a lot different. Anyway, okay. Uh, uh, oh, and then I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to save this story for <laughs> It's a true story. We lived in Milwaukee Avenue. And one, one Christmas... I don't know. I don't know if Psycho Dad was even home then. But anyway, one Christmas we got a knock on our door. And there was a guy all... Well, I guess I can't tell it. Otherwise I'll ruin it. Anyway, I, I want to tell you a story. I'm going to tell you a story. I want to say it probably happened in 1959 in Milwaukee Avenue. It was Christmas Eve. I'll never forget it. And it was... Uh, it's just... I'm going to tell you about the Black Santa from Chicago story. Um, no, not black as in color. Black is because that's the only way I can relate to this guy because he was dressed in solid black. And, uh, 
Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to tell you that story. <laughs>